morning folks. It's a standard looking day in New York today. Not particularly sunny, not particularly windy or rainy at the moment, fingers crossed. Um, we're off to New Jersey. Why are we off to New Jersey, you ask? No reason in particular, it's just um, I've been to four states and if I can make it to a fifth on this trip, why not? So um, yeah, we're going to New Jersey. I think we're heading for a shopping centre. But who knows? Who knows where we'll end up? New Jersey is that sort of wild place. So come with me. We've officially made it to Newport, which is in New Jersey, which is the fifth ever state I've been in. And it's kind of mad that um, four of the states out of the five that I've been in have been within the last year. This time last year, I'd only ever been to Florida. So um, we're just heading towards a shopping center now. Trying not to get ran over. <laughs> there we go. Um, just for something to do, really. We didn't really need anything at the mall. We just kind of wanted to have a look around, see what was what. But we're out at a marina now, which is really nice. A little park and green space. And over there, would you believe, is New York. It's actually a really nice view over here because it's like really sunny and pretty. It's almost like a silhouette. And whoa, I don't know what's going on over there with all the sirens. It's a really nice, pleasantly sunny day today. So much so I've got my sunglasses out and I've taken off my winter coat and my hat. It's not going to be like this tomorrow. Firstly, because it's my birthday. And secondly, because we're due to expect snow. And I'm never surprised when there's snow on my birthday. There was snow on my actual birthday. And there's been bad weather every year since so it really doesn't bother me like that's what I get for having a birthday in winter so anyway we're heading down to the front of this marina to um, try and get a good view of the skyline I say that's as though that was our plan but it really wasn't um, over the other side on the next kind of marina over there's what looks seems to be a, um, a garbage dump so I'm not sure we're going to get like brilliant views, but um, hey, who knows? We might be pleasantly surprised. Got the Empire State Building over there. And then swinging right around, we eventually get to these beauties. That there is the one World Trade Center. More nature for you guys, some other sorts of seabirds. I'm sure my dad will tell me what, to, what sort. Just looks like a young seagull to me, but I'm probably young. L wrong. Okay guys, this is some better nature for you. We've got Canadian geese. I think they're a bit lost. Are they New Jersey geese if they hang about here? Maybe they're on vacation. Yeah, maybe they're on their vac vacation, maybe they're having a di an identity crisis. I can see some duckies in the water here. Oh, that's a log. I'm finding it very hard to zoom in on things because I can't actually see. It's so bright outside, I can't really see the screen. Here we have a lighthouse. And there's my goosey gooseys again. Oh, there's one in the water as well. There's a few in the water. So many geese. And I keep seeing them do this kind of head bobbing thing with their heads. I don't actually know what that is, like whether that's like telling me that I'm too close. I don't really know. Anyways, I'm gonna pose for the thumbnail while I'm here. There we go. This is such a really nice place just to sit and admire New York. There's a couple of mallard duckies, I know what these are as well. The one with the green head is a male. The one with the brown head is female. But they're both mallards. And I think that's all the nature I can find for you just now. So yeah, if you actually want to see a nature documentary, I'm probably not the best person to ask, as you've probably gathered by now. Okay, well, we're back in New York now. We've came back over and we stopped by Macy's and I swear I did go looking for it, but I found the big piano from Big. 
But unfortunately it's broke. Like, it got jammed over here it looks like. Yeah, so I can't actually play with it. So sad! But this is just like the coolest place ever. Look at this. Oh man! This is the coolest, honestly. These old fashioned escalators are the best things ever, honestly. It's so cool. Okay, we're still in Macy's and it's officially time for gelato. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It's chocolate, 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 with a side of chocolate. Weirdly enough, there's so many places to eat in Macy's, but if you actually want to sit down, you have to come outside. So, like, what's this all about? Okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little. There were a few kind of like sit down restaurant type places where you could sit inside, but most of them, like if this was just a more casual type of dining, there wasn't really anywhere to sit and you can't exactly wander around a department store with gelato, so we're outside now. Um, luckily it's a very nice day. It's lunchtime and we're just kind of sat in the middle of a street, which sounds really weird, but it's like a pedestrian area, so it's all good. The Macy's department store, by the way, is the size of an entire block and it's nine floors high. So it's actually like a massive, massive department store. So many things on the inside there. I heard somebody yesterday say that you could get lost in there for an entire day. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that they have actually got lost and ended up getting out a different entrance and they came in and stuff. But, um, I mean, I didn't get really, really lost. It was fun to look around, but, um, you know, like, I feel like I saw everything I needed to see. The big piano, the gelato stands. What else do you need? We went from the top to the very bottom, well, from the bottom to the very top. And I just like the old-fashioned decor and stuff. That was my favorite bit. So we're bare site on Times Square, where it's known for its billboards. One of them has disappeared. It's looking very open at the moment. Right in the middle there. And I don't know where it's gone. So yeah, there's that. We're just walking through Times Square at the moment, as you can probably see. Um, it's probably stopping back at the hotel, I can imagine. And then seeing where the rest of the day takes us. And that, folks, answers the question, what does the inside of a billboard look like? Um, other frequently asked questions. Yes, it was terrifying, holding my camera out of a 35 floor window. Yes, I did consider whether or not I would manage to hold on to it. And no, I did not drop it. So that's good. Yeah, I've never actually seen what's a what the behind of a billboard looks like before. I've only been to a couple of places where they have billboards, but that looks really cool. We're back at the hotel. We've both decided to swap our jackets because we both took out like very heavy winter jackets and it's actually quite a pleasant day. But I still say I need some sort of jacket because in the shade it was getting quite chilly. But it was really nothing compared to what we seem to be dressed for. So we're going to change jackets and then we're going to go and see if we can find anywhere that sells Carly's cookies. Um, they're the ones that Carly Kloss makes. They're um, apparently quite healthy cookies. So this should be interesting. I'm not really sure what they entail. And we might stop by Central Park as well. So that's what our afternoon's looking like just now. Okay, so we're going for a horse ride around Central Park. It's going to be so cool. It's an early birthday present. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> Thank You're you. Welcome. Yeah, I was really looking forward to... Well, I wasn't really looking... Oh, is that why they're there? I was looking at this trough and thinking, no human's going to want that. Because I never thought about the horses. Of course, the horse might want to drink. I never thought of that. <laughs> yeah, so um, we're going to go on a quick horse ride, horse carriage tour of Central Park, hosted by Benny the Horse.
journey. Thank you. Well, that was lots of fun. Big thank you to Benny the horse and the driver whose name I didn't actually get. It's all about Benny the horse, guys. All about Benny the horse. I have no idea what the name of the driver was, but he seemed to be from Egypt and he was very nice, very friendly. Had a great time. Thank you, Benny and Mystery Man. Um, we're now back at the hotel, as you can see, but we're just about to head out again. Maybe do some shopping. Maybe get something to eat. Not really too sure. Just see where the night takes us. I feel like I've said that a lot. Anyways, I'll get back to you. Hi folks, it's been a couple of hours since I last checked in. We went to the HBO shop earlier, but there wasn't really anything that I could film down there. Um, I got a couple of presents for my Game of Thrones obsessed family members. Um, I would show you them, but they're already packed away in my suitcase. And look at this, almost all my stuff is already in my suitcase. I feel so organised. Seriously, so organised. I actually thought at one point I was going to have to buy another suitcase. But I think I'm going to manage with just the one. So that's really good. Anyway, we're going to head out for dinner now. Not really too sure where we're going. We might head for the Hard Rock Cafe, TGI Fridays. Or, who knows? Who knows? It's, it could be anywhere. Probably somewhere in New York, though. Okay, so I'll see you later. Hi again, guys. Earlier tonight, we went to the Hard Rock Cafe. There's a lot of copyright music at the Hard Rock Cafe, so I'm not sure what you're going to have seen of before. Um, you could request songs of that one for the DJ to kind of play over all the screens. And somebody requested, what does the fox say? Had a total party when that came on, and I think a lot of people thought that I would request you it. Had a wonderful meal, and it's just been a great last day in New York. And I'm quite sad to be going home again tomorrow. I don't think New York beats San Francisco for me. I'm not as sad as leaving New York as I was leaving San Francisco, but it's still... A really, really cool place, and I've had a wonderful time here. So it's really sad to be finishing my holiday and having to go back to reality soon. One plan that I have tomorrow before I leave is to go to Carlos's Bakery. Carlos's Bakery is from the show Cake Boss, which I don't really watch religiously, but um, I feel like since I'm in New York, they have a bakery near Times Square. I should go and get a cupcake, especially as it's going to be my birthday. It's actually my birthday just now. It's like quarter to three in the morning in the UK. And since I'm a UK baby, it's my birthday. Although it's not quite yet here. So um, happy birthday to me, I suppose. So I'm going to go to um, Carlos's bakery and get my birthday cupcake. And then I'm going to get to the airport and start my journey home. I'm not actually going to make it home until the day after my birthday, but I'm sure I can still find some room for birthday cake if anybody would like to buy me one at home. If they didn't buy me one at home, they can feel guilty now as they hear me thinking about how much I like birthday cake. So I've done most of my packing. Um, when I left the UK, I had the idea to take my YouTube duffel bag with me, just in case I needed a little extra thing to pack everything into when I came home and I'm so glad that I thought of that because I've been able to put most of my clothes into there and my suitcase has lots of room for presents that's presents for other people as opposed to birthday presents for me but that's okay so I just need to do the last of my packing and then I'm going to wash my hair and get ready for bed it's basically my plan for tonight so thank you very much for watching and good night. Wow, yeah. Hello, my darling. Hello. Please don't eat my jacket. <laughs> <laughs> you want to eat? <laughs> thank you. You're welcome, my brother. <laughs>